Hi students, welcome to another topic in professional ethics. Today a topic for discussion is very interesting topic that is how to live peacefully. So here we go, how to live uh, peacefully. So here, our internal peace is not only within ourselves, it is also with a surrounding and also with the neighbors. So if our surrounding is happy, if, if a neighbor is happy and we automatically feel that uh, inside. So that is how we feel happy. It's not about being myself and I'm alone happy. It's all about how others make you happy, the external surrounding with others. So that's what it says. Live, living in peace is about living harmoniously with yourself and others. So initially, we'll see the ways to be peaceful. So let us start. Seek to love, not to control. Uh, Gandhiji once said, you can control a person thousand times better if you are loving them rather than uh, controlling them by power or by punishment. Uh, he, you can control anybody by love more effectively than by any power or giving some punishment. He can be a student of yours or he can be a colleague or he can be a higher, you can be higher authority and he can be an employee. You can control that person only by love. So if, if you are controlling them by love, then they will do the work 100 times more effectively, more efficiently than by your power. So, so it is like understanding the uh, thing, okay, then making them to do the work. So be tolerant. Tolerant in a sense, uh, you can, uh, you, you can, they, even though hurt you in, in, in an unwanted way, or you just try to take up everything and don't show the same hatred on others or to them so that uh, that tolerance is like uh, whatever happened you should be yourself you should not uh, I mean lose your cool and uh, being tolerant in a sense others will uh, respect you more and find inner peace so inner peace in a sense you allot some time for you like uh, you may be working for eight to nine hours or maybe traveling another two to three hours then hardly you have like six hours to sleep and at least one or two hours you have to do something which gives you happiness it can be anything like it can be like uh, reading a newspaper or books your favorite story book or something or seeing to your favorite uh, cartoon or whatever it is like uh, even for them, some, somebody used to play games or mobile games or even they play shuttle or some games like playing cricket or something which makes you happy. So the day will be complete, okay, even though you had a very hard time in work in workplace or, or like uh, wherever because of the travel. But that one or two hours you spend for yourself that makes you to feel happy, then that brings you some peace internally seek for forgiveness and not revenge so like this is a very very important character that and very hard to have because uh, to forgive uh, others is a, a godly thing it doesn't happen so naturally if you do then it is a great uh, behavior like uh, you're, you're not going to get happiness in taking revenge it, it is very uh, temperament like for a few days you'll be happy but later on if you realize you will see oh i shouldn't have done that you would have you will have that feeling so it's always better to love and better to forgive and forgive and live in joy live in joy is like uh, it is of two types that is one is inward uh, in, uh, internal and another one is external mm -hmm. externally you can be happy only if your external surrounding is happy like the definition says it's not only about you it is about your surrounding it's about your uh, uh, I mean family it's about your neighbors if everybody are happy you'll be happy and again internally in a sense you do something which you like the most so if both things have been balanced and your life will be peaceful and uh, one of a uh, one of a um, statistics says the employee so he's been employed employed like uh, working under some const uh, construction or some concern 96 percentage of people are not happy so that is uh, you have to allot some time for you to make yourself happy it's it's like a, a routine thing which you do every day you go to job you travel so long 
but yeah, there should be something to make you happy right it it is only your family or you know, it is only your friends or something which you do for yourself which makes you happy and you try to do that whenever you have time you try to spend time with your family or like small kids or like your mother or father those whom whom you trust so much or your friends or whoever it can be so you just try to spend some time so that you'll be happy thank you students